They found a dead body near my house today, so I thought it would be a good day to do a YouTube video. Lo-fi magic! Son of a mother who got bit by a monkey in a zoo! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sean Palmer. I'm a Broadway and television actor, um, best known for playing the character Marcus Adant on Sex and the City or Prince Eric on Broadway in The Little Mermaid musical. Some of you guys may know me from one of my less proud moments. Um, I did a softcore porn version of The Babadook called The Babadonkadonk, but I have managed to survive that and land safely and beautifully on my feet here at YouTube. If you didn't recognize that last part as a joke, then uh, you probably don't want to watch my channel. Oh, we're, we just lost a few. Okay, bye guys. Um, for the rest of you who are staying, yes, they found a dead body by my house today in a park. Um, yeah, I wasn't really going to do a video on that per se, but um, I was going to do a video anyway, and it had a lot of themes in it, and this just happened to tie into it. So I guess life is just all about me. Yeah, it's weird when stuff like that happens. Anyway, I've been watching this show on Netflix called Parasite, which is about these sort of aliens who take over these people's bodies, but they only take over like the head, the brain, and then the body is still human. And some of the less successful ones only take over like a part of the body, and then they have to coexist with the parasite. Um, and it really brings up a lot of issues around like life and death and what we consider sacred and what makes humans uh, have humanity. It's really very deep and dark. So when I heard about this um, violent event that happened near my house, I was kind of fascinated rather than horrified. And I think that's due to watching this show, like I binged it over the last two days and it sort of as a premise of the show, it desensitizes you to the violence that happens on the show and you just look at people like meat in a way. And that's one of the sort of successes of the show. It like brings across the, um, the antagonist's point of view really well, but I don't know that it's the healthiest thing for a person to feel that way about themselves. But spiritually speaking, if you guys noticed, I haven't been on YouTube for about two months now. Um, I've been doing a lot of meditating. I've been just trying to take care of myself. Um, I was running myself into the ground editing videos and like trying to get things ready on schedule. And I've decided as per the thumbnail, I don't care. I'm not doing YouTube that way anymore. I'm gonna do stuff when I wanna do it. I'm gonna do what I wanna do and let the chips fall where they may. So that's what's gonna happen. Let's just take a little break right now and um, dance to not copyrighted music, okay? I'm into this, deal with it. So if you guys enjoyed that, please subscribe to the channel and put on your notifications because I honestly don't know when I'm gonna be dropping videos anymore. Um, I cannot live by a schedule. As an artist, I find that really restrictive. I also found the construct of my show, which by the way, yes, I'm gonna admit it was largely based on um, Trixie and Katya's uh. Not on purpose, but just I've been watching so much of that and I love them so much that I was emulating a lot of that in my show. But I also wanted to have segments so it was kind of like a little bit of Pee Wee Herman's Playhouse and then Trixie and Katya's Uh. And whilst I'm still gonna borrow from those things because they're terrific references, I don't wanna be stuck with any kind of structure. I don't wanna have to do anything. And I also wanna get to know people in my audience well and people weren't necessarily commenting on the videos, they were enjoying them or liking them or whatever, but I wanna have more like of a dialogue with you guys. Anyway, um, I used to do a segment called Adult Toys. I may again, I don't know if I will, but um, I did wanna save this for you guys so that you could see this uh, toy that I've been um, collecting. So this is from Marks and Spencer's, which is a British grocery store. And they did this um, similar to the American version of those, um, I can't remember, the, like tiny products, whatever it was called. Things in an egg, tiny products, egg in English. They sold this for about three pounds or three euros and then as you went to the checkout, if you spent over 20 or 25 pounds, you would get a couple of bags with these little um, prizes in it. So I got a lot of apples, packages of apples. The great thing is they're recyclable. So this is just a little bit of paper with a bit of foam in the middle. 
and like when kids are done with it, they're not uh, difficult to dispose of. Um, a little piggy bank, little Marks and Spencer's piggy bank. Um, like these products are just little cardboard boxes, so that's totally recyclable. Um, again, cardboard and a little bit of plastic. And they're just like ready-made meals. Here's a birthday cake, which I don't really like the fact they took a slice out of it, but I guess they were proud of the inside. It's kind of a pride cake. Um, guacamole. Raspberries. Popsicles. And yogurt. Um, also some beef, which you'll never see me eating because I don't like red meat and I'm more vegetarian than not. Anyway, I just thought that was really cute and uh, wanted you guys to see that. I don't have any toys for you this week. I mean, that's a toy and I'm fun to play with, but uh, I'm not a toy. But um, I told you guys, I'm gonna give away all of this stuff. So eventually there's gonna be contests, but I don't really have enough followers at this point to do that. So I'm not gonna do it yet. But like the dolls, everything, I'm literally giving away everything because I don't want stuff. Yeah, so that's really, that's what's going on with uh, my YouTube account. So yeah, put on your notifications and please like this video. Please comment on this video if you like it. If you don't like it, you can fuzz off. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so I hope to grow my audience with a little bit more um, real, true, lo-fi videos. It's a little bit less than perfect, but in its own way, it's perfect. So like I said, I've been meditating, I've been watching the show, I've been thinking a lot about um, this idea of matter and spirit, and I noticed a lot of YouTubers are putting up this mirror thing which is called a true mirror, and it shows you back your actual reflection. So when you look in a mirror, it's your reflection um, as other people see you. No, when you look in the mirror, you see the opposite of your reflection. When you look in the mirror, you don't get to see yourself the way other people see you. When you look in the mirror, you don't get to see yourself the way other people see you. You get to see this reversed version of yourself. And a lot of YouTubers have been getting this mirror and showing you what they look like to themselves normally and then what they look like in this mirror and they're like well that's not me but the fact is that version that you see in the mirror is a private version that you see and more often than not you become accustomed to some people may like this other version not many though most people revert to this other image which they see themselves in with its idiosyncrasies that are specific to the face being that way around. In a way, it's really like that idea of I am that I am. So like you are that thing, but no one sees it. And you are spirit, but no one sees it. And so if you ever have a hard time connecting the idea like how do I think of myself as I am that I am, that's it. That's one little kernel. It's like drawing the outline of the thing. Like you may not find the actual thing, but you can find the outline. So that was, that was something that I've been thinking a lot about lately. And it does make you think a lot about like the flesh being sort of this steed that we're riding through life, but that's less than um, ideal. And the spirit being in this lower, um, less than ideal thing, being carried through this experience where we wanna start thinking from the heart and the mind and higher. And oftentimes we revert to the gut and the, these lower parts of ourselves and the heart being in the center of the lower self and the higher self gets dragged either way, gets knocked about a bit. So yeah, those are the thoughts I'm having on um, all that. And I guess it's time to come out of the closet, you guys. Uh, I know I write a lot of funny sketches and like try to appear as like, yuck, yuck, yuck. And I am pretty funny to like my close circle of friends, but I'm not that funny in public. Like I'm a very private person. I can be very shy. I can be very, very closed off. But I am always thinking in terms of spirituality and um, sort of the higher person. And so I'm not gonna hide that anymore in here. Like when I used to tell you guys like, oh, this is what I watched on YouTube this week. And I try to be like, showing you all the funny things that I watch on YouTube. Well, there's like a whole other side of what I watch on YouTube, which is like spiritual stuff and um, Freudian stuff and shadow work and like all of this other stuff, which is sort of accounts for what I would call my darker side. Um, and it's, you could say it's darker, but it's just another, it's just a, it's a contrast to the bright side of myself. So I'm gonna bring a more authentic version of myself to YouTube and um, you may or may not enjoy it. I don't know, but we will find out. Let's go on the journey together. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon. I don't know when, turn on your notifications and you'll find out. Okay, bye. As far as my hair goes, this is just happening. I'm growing it out and 
you just have to deal with it. Yeah.